Let's stretch it out for 87 years. How many lives more are we going to lose if we don't take action now? We need to take action now. So this is a call that everybody is to be and believes in freedom and believes that this city is a much better city than what it's going right now. We need to come out here and let them come to the city that we want to do. The reason we are we, asking for a boycott is because uh, the police and mayor has said to us, uh, one, starve, that's what you want. Go ahead and starve, we don't care. And two, we're not going to fire Chief Sir. And since Chief Sir happens to be the one on point, and these murders are being committed under his watch, no, I don't care how good, and believe me, I like Chief Sir. I, I love some of the stuff that he did in the Western edition and what he has done in, in, in Hunter's Point. But this is his watch. And because it's his watch and they're murdering our people and all the racist stuff that's coming out in the Texas, that you're the chief and you can't stop it. If you can't stop it, then you need to step down so we can get somebody in there to kill it. And that's the whole point of it. And, but the mayor wants to say, well, we're making changes. What kind of changes are you making, Mayor? You told us that you guys had, had a standoff policy in the very next day. It took 30 seconds of one of your officers to kill another one of us. So how, how is that a change? You, you, you came out to the public and said that you offered to sit down with the with the five, right? In fact, you didn't offer to sit down with the five. You, you set up there and you ran into a building hiding and then expected us to come running into you. Right? You, you're a coward. If you'd have came to us and shook our hands, we'd have went with you. But you are a coward. You go running into a building and talking about, oh my God, uh, I got to stay inside. Come out and talk to this. Since this happened, just we can work things out and we can work the dialogue. As long as, we, as long as there's a dialogue, we can work out stuff. But you won't allow us to have that dialogue. That's why we're here. Because you won't allow us to have the dialogue. You want us to leave? Just come out and give us the dialogue. That's all we're asking. But no. You'd rather, you'd rather sit behind your office door, cowering, rather than coming in and just speaking to us. And look, Mayor, I voted for you twice. Right? I am my property owner in San My uncle was a, a chaplain for the police department. I'm 70 years old. The last thing I want is lawless police because I have to I have to depend on those very same police in case something goes wrong. Because I can't protect myself anymore. I'm too old. Right? So I, when I'm on the street, I'm glad to see police officers. But we can't keep letting them kill our children without immunity. Everything, everything, I mean, every time one of them kills one of us, the first thing you want to say is, well, they attack the police officers. Uh, how do we attack police officers in their How do we attack police officers? How can police officers say that they're afraid and they got a shield? That's the purpose of giving them a shield, so they don't have to be afraid. But they use that as a reason to kill our chiefs. That's, that we can't, we can't allow it. It's just not something that can, can go on. At this point, we're saying enough is enough. Let's straighten this mess up. And let's go back to being what San Francisco is supposed to be. A melting pot. A, a, a city that embraces all the people. And we did that way ever since I was there. I think we said it Yes. We've always said it. No, the kids are Daryl Rogers. And then they're going to be the ones. Uh, yeah. This right here is the other Oh, yes. Thank you. What it says? Evict Ed Lee. Hmm? Evict Ed Lee. Oh. It's all connected. Yeah. Which, which language is this? Uh, this isn't any language. It's it's just English stylistically. It's approached in a more like Chinese traditional. 
um, Oh, I can see now! Yeah. First look, I didn't even see it. Yeah, I thought like it, it was like really yeah. ancient mm -hmm. the pills. Mm -hmm. You didn't think about of it? You did that? Mm -hmm. <coughs> wow! I can't say who did it, but it's Maybe. here now. Yeah. Yes. A big a Lee. Wow, thank you. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. It's almost like a stamp, isn't it? Oh, like yeah, that's, a, that's awesome. in Japan, like mm -hmm. yeah. instead of like a chuchu signature. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, you you stamp, stamp it. it. Yeah, stamp yeah, it. Stamp it. Exactly. <laughs> Let's bring attention to the, uh, the more evictions are going on in Chinatown due mm -hmm. to Airbnb. Mm -hmm. We're kicking out longtime residents that have been in Chinatown for generations. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're subject to evictions, and the whole community right there in Chinatown is mm -hmm. going to take a dramatic shift. Wow. So it's dealing with social impacts, mm -hmm. um, and locals are not okay with that. Yes. And then there's a history like a Philippine, uh, was the Manila town or something like that, like a buildings. People have a history of the, right. you know, uh, fought, fought for eviction, yes? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's true, that's true. I, I feel like we Do wanna... you want this one? I have plenty. Ready? Yes, yeah. yes, please. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Wow, I will stamp maybe like... Yeah, sample somewhere. Use some uh, yes. water. Wow, thank you.